What is up guys? It is 12.30 at night. I literally just got out of work, standing in the parking lot right now. I have to be up in about four hours, 4.30, take a shower, then head to the airport and board a plane to Idaho to some fly fishing. My uh, family invited me out there, my uncle and my aunt invited me out there. I'm gonna be staying with them for a week, fly fishing, doing all sorts of stuff. I really hope you guys like this. It's gonna be epic. I'm gonna try doing my best filming and try to catch some new fish, species that we don't have in New York State. So wish me luck, I'll see you guys in the morning. It is freaking hot. I just got off a three hour plane ride and it is hot as hell. But I'm gonna go unpack and chill with the family and then probably go fish. Guys, so we are out on the Boise right now fishing this beautiful freaking place. This water is crystal clear and I'm wet waiting even though this water is like 50 degrees. Like I got pins and needles in my foot right now. But just look at the scenery, dude. I've never fished somewhere like this. You know, I'm in Idaho fishing the Boise River for basically whatever. You know, I would really love a whitefish. Never caught one of those. We don't have those in New York State. We have the lake version, lake whitefish, but those are almost extinct because... I have no clue. We just don't care about them. And these are mountain white fish. They're supposed to be very easy to catch if you use nymphs and stuff like that. But who knows? I'm here for basically everything. There's a lot of trout in the stream. So hopefully we can get some trout. Other than that, I don't know. But let's get some fishing. Today, you know, first day, first spot. I don't even care if today I catch a fish. I'm just glad that I'm out here and enjoying this beautiful scenery. Just look at this place, man. It's absolutely insane. I got skunked, but hey, it was a beautiful two hours of fishing. I believe my uncle is gonna go get me to go get my Ohio State fishing license and then show me some spots. And then I'll probably go out tonight when it cools down a little bit. Cause that's probably when the trout will bite better. I don't know, go check out a couple new spots. Maybe some calmer water that's, you know, deep pools, stuff like that. Not as wide. I was not expecting this part to be real wide. I've seen sections where it's real skinny and deep pools with fast water, stuff like that. And I kind of want to fish that more. Not like this. I bet you there's trout in there. I saw something rise, but couldn't get them. Couldn't get them bite. But I don't know. There was a lot of stuff hatching, but nothing was coming up except for that one fish. There was a stonefly hatch and what are they called? A gnat, gnats hatching, those little black fly looking things that bite. Those were everywhere. I was walking into them. And a lot of, I don't even know what they were, like moth looking things. Those were hatching too. I was getting covered in those, but nothing was coming up and eating them. I saw one fish come up and eat, which was insane. I thought, you know, it would come up and eat, but you know, it is 101 degrees out. It's not as bright right now. So, you know, but let's go get some other ones. Oh my God, guys, dude, there's a hatch going on. I am literally covered in these things. Dude, look at them all. I don't know if you, yo, yo. Yo, I'm getting fucking right. Yo, my whole arm. I'm dying, bro. Yo, oh my God. This is like trout candy. Oh, we got one. No. He just broke me off. You, you got to be shitting me, dude. He just broke me off. Clean break. Turn that bobber goes down, dude. You got to set it, you know. Oh my god, that's a fish. That's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish. That's a fish. Yes! Yes! My first ever nymph, nymph fish, dude. My first ever nymph fish. 
What is it? Ew, it's a white fish. Ew. Ew. They fight hard though. Oh my god. These things fight freaking hard. These things can fight. Jeez. Oh, oh, this is just shakes. Everybody says, why do you want to catch whitefish? Why do you want to catch whitefish? Because the finks, look at them go. Yo, yo. The whitefish know how to fight. Yo, that's insane. Yo, he is peeling drag. This little whitefish is going nuts. They look like grayling. Like, like the body of them look like grayling. Oh my god. Peel and drag, dude. Oh, let's get him up. Let's get him up. Let's get him up. Oh, 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 dude, he's going nuts. What the hell? Freaking whitefish going crazy over here, dude. Okay, okay, okay. You can chill out. You can chill out. For those of you guys who do not know what this fish is, this is actually a whitefish. I'll get a closer look up in a second. They indicate clear, pristine water, super cold water like this place. Usually they're running groups. So this is actually mountain whitefish and they actually breed in the winter time. They school up in the winter time, which is cool. And they're in the Salmonidae family, which is trout, uh, char, and salmon. So, and whitefish. So we're actually gonna get a quick picture with this guy. They got some weird mouths. Gotta get a real close look at them and then let them go and hopefully catch another one. Look at their mouth. Look how we just smoked it. Yep. They look nothing like a trout at all. Oh, there goes a fly box. Nothing like a trout. They got big scales. You can actually feel the individual scales. They got some weird looking mouth, but they are related to carp. There's an, I mean, not a carp, a uh, trout. There's the adipose fin. You know, only some out of these have those. We're gonna get this guy back into the water. My first ever white fish. Beautiful fish, look at his mouth. They smell like nasty, they smell like suckers, but they're related to carp. I mean, not carp, trout, jeez, the mouth. I keep on thinking they're related to it's carp. No, it's trout. So I'm on a trout and salmon, trout and salmon, trout and salmon. Just like that, popped out. I'm gonna give this guy a little breather here for a minute, you know. This is not a bad one, actually. Hopefully we can catch another one, there he goes. Cool looking fish. Ooh. Terrible. First day, I'm, dude, I'm defeated. No lie. Can't figure out, I know what they're eating, I just have nothing to match that hatch. I thought I did and I threw it and they did not want it at all. I don't know, it might be too heavy of a line. It's a five pound test, but I should have switched over maybe two and none of my line is anywhere. I got an antelope straight right behind me just chilling. Like, like what the hell is going on, you know? Big hatches and I can't catch anything, but hey, you know what? There's always tomorrow, you know, go to a fly shop, get whatever the hell was hatching tonight and just match the hatch you know it's whatever though but at least got out here got to learn something about the river fish seems like they're all conjugated over here which is pretty cool and get to enjoy this beautiful ass sunset with the mountains so hope you guys enjoy this episode stay tuned for part two i think i'm probably gonna do five parts i don't know yet but Love each and every one of you guys. See you guys in the next episode with me, Ty Fisher.